What did you think of this? Or, this movie? Yeah. I loved this movie. Like, I yeah. was genuinely entertained the whole yeah, time. Yeah, bro. And it was, like, it was, like, rich with, like, <laughs> references to, like, what? <laughs> oh, my God. Popcorn, bro. It's my hot Cheetos. You're probably thinking to yourself, why is this getting recorded and in such a bad shot? I, I don't know, honestly. I'm just... I, I, I tried doing a vlog style thing. I'm, I don't know. I'm trying to do something new with these reviews and clearly it's a complete mess. Uh, I'm not I'm not comfortable with like recording stuff outside of uh, uh, outside, outside of my comfort zone. So uh, this is the best that I, this is the best thing I could record and the best thing I could record is a bloody red mess inside my friend AJ's popcorn bag. Wow, okay, that's this is really sad. Uh, uh, I'm so sorry I wasted your time. I'll do better next time. Thank you. <laughs> the time's coming, Mute. When you're gonna have to pick a side. Are you going somewhere? No. We're going somewhere. Jeez. Fantastic Beast is blah 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 blah. Obviously, I'm a big fan of Harry Potter. I read all the books, been to every midnight show for all the Harry Potter movies. I even dressed up like a student, like a Gryffindor student back in high school. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not proud of that. I'm not saying I'm an expert. I'm just very knowledgeable with the Harry Potter series. Well, with this new idea of the wizarding world that they want to do with the like outside of the Harry Potter films trying to do like their own MCU style, I'm kind of excited for that. There's storylines you could do like the founders or the people who created Hogwarts which as a safe haven for wi wizards and witches. Uh, the Marauders which is about Harry Potter's father and his friends during their time at Hogwarts or even uh, an entire movie series about Ivor Mori, the American wizarding school. Is there a school? A wizardry school here in uh, America? Of course. Ilvermorny, it's only the best wizard school in the whole world. I think the best wizarding school in the world is Hogwarts. Hogwash. Like having an American wizarding school in this modern day would be like awesome. That being said, a uh, fantastic beast. The first one, I liked it, but there was something lacking. It's definitely a movie that you know is just there to set up characters. And nothing else. With this new one, Newt Scamander's with his friend searching for Credence, who's played by Ezra Miller. It's basically the same story, just with a lot more Harry Potter references uh, in the background. It's not so bad, but in the context of the overall story that J.K. Rowling wants to do with this being a five-part series, apparently, you kind of need the pace to go a little bit faster than this. It's, it kind of had a slow start. The positives I could say so far is that Jude Law in this film as Dumbledore was like was a real highlight in the in the series. He he carries the charisma that both Dumbledores from from the original two Harry Potter films were, and he was just an interesting character in this whole film. Uh, Eddie Redmayne as Newt, he he grew to be a lot more of an interesting character than he was in the first film. Like I actually care about what's going on with this dude now. The Kathleen Waterstone is literally the exact same character she was in the first film. She was kind of hard-headed and you just don't care up until she, her personality changes and you actually think, yeah, she's actually a pretty sweet character. There's actually a scene between her and Newt that's actually one of my favorite scenes in this film where they just share a moment with each other and it was actually really sweet. They have they have chemistry, the, the, two, the two actors. Uh, Johnny Depp as Gerald Grindelwald uh, does not hold a candle to Voldemort, but he, the way he the way he's portrayed here with his intentions, I actually that was really amazing. Everything that he's doing in this film is just it's for the greater good. He's he's not a mustache twirling villain. He's doing this to help his own kind of witches and wizards that are being discriminated. It's still a bad guy, but at least now I understand what's what's up with him. So in this film, there's obviously a lot of Harry Potter Easter eggs, references, and connections, and all that stuff. And normally in the in movie series that gets annoying, but in this one, yeah, I'm open to it. It was great. Uh, the first scene when they showed Hogwarts and you hear, you hear Hedwig's theme, it's such a nostalgia trip for everyone in the theater, including me. It was so fun. So this movie succumbs to sequelitis, meaning that you're gonna introduce a whole bunch of characters and random story plots that has not, that's not gonna be explained until the next one. Such as, oh, here's Newt's brother, his assistant, who I don't even care about she had like two minutes of screen time and a bunch of Grindelwald's like 
flonies. I don't know, bad guys. And I, it's like whatever. I mean, they're just there, saved up for the sequel. I, I guess. The only bad thing I could say about this movie is the editing is, uh, it's a little annoying. There's like two or three scenes I could remember where characters just randomly sh uh, show up and there was no any indication that they were going to be in that scene or anything like that. It was a little confusing. It kind of bugged me and there wasn't even in that that magical as evaporation thing that they did. Oh, that's how they showed up. No, they just randomly were in shot or they were in the background. It was kind of weird. Other than that, I thought the movie was okay. It's a lot better than the first one. But it's not quite there yet. Like the one th I really did enjoy the ending where alliances changes. They do a lot of interesting setup for the sequel. So I'm I'm kind of eager for the next film. But I just hope the pace is a lot more faster than it was in this film. If you're a fan of the Harry Potter series, you might enjoy, you actually would have a good fun time with this film. But if you're not a fan of Harry Potter or the books, then why are you watching this? I give it like a six out of ten. You know. Six out of ten butterbeers. Get it? Because that's a Harry Potter reference. <sighs> I want to die. Uh, thanks for watching. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot I saw Overlord this, like, literally a few hours ago. Well, in this, in the case of this recording two days ago but at the moment at the time of me recording that a few hours ago uh, I didn't really prepare much and I don't really know much anything about that movie other than what I'm about to quickly say uh, it, I mean do people really care about Overlord it's not a bad movie but it's just it's just there uh, I, I don't know here's the rest of the video uh, it was originally supposed to be Cloverfield 4, then they changed it when Cloverfield Paradox sucked. It's a, it's a Nazi uh, zombie movie. Fitz from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s in it. The main general guy is from Black Mirror. It's creepy. It had a lot of action. There's not much I could say much about it. Overlord's actually a pretty fun movie. I, ugh. Of this movie because I don't I didn't research 